want to talk about Amos uh, chapter 9, verse 13. The scripture in there speaks about the plowman overtaking the reaper. As we enter more deeply into the days of the kingdom, which are here and will continue to unfold, uh, especially as our eyes are enabled to see more clearly, we find that there are many scriptures that uh, talk about what these days of the kingdom are going to be, how things are going to work. Uh, I know there was a word in the book that we wrote called the Day of Reversal. Um, i trying to remember what the scripture is. I think it's out of Zechariah, but, uh, uh, or Micah, actually. It's out of the book of Micah that speaks about the, in the days of the kingdom that we're going to have a reversal of the trend. And it doesn't take a lot of discernment to know the trend in the earth right now is one that is very uh, uh, um, negative. A tremendous uh, vibration and energy right now in the world of warfare, of hostility, and of iniquity as God is letting the iniquity literally come to the full. That's a prophecy in the Old Testament. The iniquity of the Amorites will come to the full. We are in that time. <coughs> We've been in that time where the iniquity is coming to the full in the earth. But <coughs> we're also facing a parallel fulfillment that <coughs> as one is happening, that we see the emergence of something else. And that would be a reversal of this trend that Micah speaks about. And I believe it's... It, begins initially as an unfolding experience for the sons of God. It's not something that will happen in the world as a whole yet. Um, down the word it will happen, but we are seeing a reversal of the trend that is beginning. And so what we've noticed is that there is a, uh, a spiritual awakening happening within God's people. And the promise is that the plowman will overtake the reaper. Um, Psalms 144 talks about plants grown in their youth. Um, Isaiah 66 talks about can a nation be born in a day. And, and Matthew 29, these are all scriptures about this time that we're in. Matthew 29 talks about the 11th hour, that those that bore the heat of the day and worked at the, at, the, at the eleventh hour when the Lord bade them to come in, he paid them the same as those workers that had come at the beginning of the time. And some of them had an issue with that. And yet we know what that speaks of. Uh, it speaks of where we are now. That so many of you that have walked with God all of your life have borne the heat of the day have lived under the satanic assault and the oppression and the deep, deep scourgings and dealings of God in your life. You know, you go back and you could, it's like Paul. Paul said, well, I glory, glory in one thing only, and that is the cross of Christ. That um, is our calling card. That has been our way of life. Um, it has been a life that has known God's deep dealings these deep scourgings, um, and in, in, on the other arm, it has, we've also known a tremendous level of satanic conflict, um, which has continued to ramp up as we come into these days of the manifestation of the sons of God and the manifestation of the word of power and authority and control and dominion. So it's, it's, it's very interesting, but so what, what is the Lord saying? He's saying that in the days of the kingdom that he is going to bring forth a people. In, in some ways, I don't even understand the dynamics of it. Uh, you could call it miraculous, where he's going, to, he's going to birth them into a level of the kingdom without having to go through the process that we've known. And, and that, uh, I don't understand that, honestly, uh, clearly because I know that the path of sonship is a path of the deep purifying work of the Spirit. Malachi says, who can stand when he appears? For he is like a, a, a smelter and a purifier of the sons of Levi, and he will purify the dross that he might present you know, to the Lord offerings 
acceptable offerings of sacrifice. We know this. This is how we've lived. And yet I know the promise in the day of the kingdom is that the plowman is going to overtake the reaper. So you can say, well, now, what am I talking about, the plowman and the reaper? I'm just talking about the fact that God is going to bring forth a quick work within his people, that you're going to plant the seed, and the harvest is going to be there just like that. You're going to be reaping more quickly than you're even sowing. And you can say, well, how can that be? Well, I don't know. It's the dynamics of the kingdom. It's the promise of this time that we're in. Um, sons, uh, you know, like uh, Psalms 144, plants grown up in their youth. How is that possible? A child of six months in the Lord, grown up and born into a level of spiritual reality and spiritual experience. This is something the Lord is doing. I know that we are faithful to take the word and we, we sow the word. God is the one that causes the increase. But this is the time that we're in. We're in the time of the 11th hour. Uh, God is birthing a nation, born in the day, plants growing up in their youth, uh, the plowman overtaking the reaper. I know that as we uh, um, uh, uh, receive the various emails from different ones around the world, I'm noticing an increase of experiences, some of them very unusual experiences, as people are coming alive to the Lord. and changes are happening within them and uh, it, it's it's a great thing and I, I think it's going to continue to uh, grow I said something recently in one of the videos that um, I'll know the voice of the Lord in my brother and sister when I hear it through a broken heart I know that um, there is uh, there are many dynamics that are happening right now and uh, and I really can't explain the, the unique path that each one has. But I do know that regardless of the depth of experience and transformation that God is bringing, that it will always be housed within a broken spirit, as a brother recently emailed me. Um, that is our life. Um, a broken spirit uh, is our calling card. You know, if I meet someone who's got these tremendous gifts, but there's not that brokenness of spirit, then, you know, uh, God may be moving in his life, but he's not done yet. He's not ready. But I know that God is doing something outside of what we've understood and what we've grasped. And God is bringing forth uh, a, a transformation within people that is going to sidestep the process. Yet I know in some mystical way the work within the spirit and soul of that individual is going to be completed, but it will be completed quickly. A quick work in the earth. Not in the earth of the globe, but in the earth right here. The earth of you and I. We're in a time that God is bringing something to pass much more quickly. And I bless, I bless you some of you that have borne the heat of the battle for 50 years, and 30 years, 20 years, whatever it's been, you, you've lived your life, you know, just dying at the, at the, the, the side of the road, bleeding, um, with the deep dealings of God on one hand and the, and, the, and the satanic assault that has been unrelenting on the other. And yet I know that God has brought us to a time of release and a time of completion and a time of change. And I loose this. I loose this is a time, this is a season, this is the window that we're in. You know, it's not going to continue like this. You know, it is only so long that the baby can be in the birthing channel. The baby has to come out. We're in this time. I bless you. They, those of you that have borne the heat of the battle for so long, and those of you who have just now entered into it, God is doing a quick work, and it will be completed. Bless you. Amen.